Good morning, my beautiful, beautiful people. Today, we have some halal chicken again, which I love. Um, and we're gonna make a Trini Chinese style chicken. Usually this chicken is fried, but being that, you know, I'm very health conscious of my family, there's also um, alternative options that you can bake it. So this season is very simple and then we're gonna get right to it. All right, guys, so here we go. So first, um, I'm just gonna give you a list of the ingredients that we're gonna use. We're gonna use some um, garlic, some onion. So you can use either garlic salt or onion salt. I'm gonna use some turmeric, some five spice Chinese powder, a little bit of black pepper, uh, some cayenne, and we're gonna have some nutmeg thank you Ty and then also you know my favorite ginger powder uh, for the wet part we're gonna use uh, soy sauce sesame oil and the dark mushroom soy sauce sesame oil and then we're gonna add uh, probably a, a little bit of brown sugar and some water it's the mixing and then we're gonna uh, put the wet seasoning after so we're gonna start with the dry seasoning first and you guys know that I like to season properly. Something called seasoning properly, all right? Cool. Take the garlic first, and then we come along. Make sure you get it coated. As I said, this method I've picked up because I liked it a lot, and it, and it um, makes the fat drip off, and you get more of the flavor the meat. So I put it on a rack um, on top of a, a baking tray. We're gonna do a similar method that I did with the herb roasted chicken, which is taking a pan, which I wanted to show you guys. Simple pan, they put water in it, and they put it at the bottom of the oven. So when the steam from the water comes up, they make sure that the skin is crispy and internally is cooked properly. As I said, the main key word we're gonna go with is properly, all right? So we get this garlic coated on both sides, okay? I'm gonna season one side and then do the next side. A little onion as well, mm. and the onion you don't have to put too much, just a little sprinkle. All right, put that to the side. Then we're gonna do some more black pepper. So, as I said, we're gonna do the front side and the back side and turn it back over. So, the black pepper, all right, boom. Uh, so, the turmeric, cayenne, ginger powder, and the five spice. I already made a blend for it. And I have it over here. It's my spice blend. So this is the five spice powder, the Chinese five spice powder. Um, and you can make it on your own. Um, the ingredients is listed. I like to do stuff like that to remake it. So I have to probably go down to Brooklyn and get some of those um, uh, those particular things. I need like fennel, fennel seeds, like licorice root. Um, the ginger powder you could get anywhere. Um, Annie seed, but like crushed, and then cinnamon as well. Cinnamon is a key component in the five spice powder. What I forgot to mention, we're gonna use something really special, which is nutmeg. Now, I have come to be fond of nutmeg, especially with um, savory foods. So I have a little mini grater and my nutmeg seed, and I'm gonna grate it over my chicken. It's gonna give a different contrast of flavor. So you can see that nutmeg is getting there. And you know, my chicken. My chicken is looking good. My chicken is ready. So the oven is already preheated. I preheated the oven at uh, 350 and then I'm gonna raise it up to 500 because we want that crispy, crispy skin. Similar to like roasting chicken, obviously, but um, this is a different flavor component. So we get that nutmeg on there. All right, so we're gonna flip our chicken and do the same thing, and then we're gonna come back with the rubber, and I'm gonna use my gloves to get into the grooves of the chicken, all right? So I already washed my hands, I'm gonna make sure that you guys know, washing your hands is essential. Also washing your chicken, listen, I wash your chicken probably three, four times. Last step of washing, I'll use vinegar. Water, lime first, wash, wash, wash. Water, lime again, wash again, and then I come in with the vinegar again. All right, so we're gonna turn our chicken over. So we're gonna make some more space because we want this chicken to stay within the the format of the of the rack so that it doesn't um, we don't have any spillage in the oven. You know, cleanup is a big thing. So making sure that your 
after you use your kitchen, you're making sure that you clean up your kitchen. You don't want to leave a dirty kitchen. And you don't want to start with a dirty surface. Um, I um, sanitize the surface before I used it. So I want you guys to also do that as well in your home. Okay. So wash our hands a little bit, probably get a little bit of the seasoning and you don't want to touch it up, all right? So the same combination, go back in with the garlic, thoroughly. Because when you're biting that chicken, you want to taste that it's seasoned good, it's tasting good, it's looking good, you know, all those good things. All right, we're not going to put too much because it's on the back side. I'm going to put the onion, da, 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 da. And you want your chicken to be room temperature. I always like, before you go and cook, chicken means room temperature because you don't want frozen chicken and then it takes so long and you're wondering why it takes so long. So that is cooking one one for you, making sure that you have toured chicken so that there's an easier cooking process for you. And not too long. So we're gonna go with some more too. Um, nutmeg, sorry, on the other side. I think that piece fell off into the pan, but that's all right. More flavor. Uh, so everything in the pan, what we're gonna do I'm going to show you guys a special method, which I didn't show, is that um, basting. So you have, if you have something like a, a turkey baster, it's really good. You can use that and the juices that fall out into the pan, you squeeze it and you baste it on the chicken. It's called basting. But we're going to have another separate video for that, dealing with that particular method and style. Alright, so we're going to go with our spice rub. I'm going to get my glove. And then we're gonna get started on this spice wrap, okay? All right. Gloves on the wrong side. <laughs> okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so I think we're gonna start on the back side. We're not gonna use too much of our spice wrap, but we wanna get it on the skin. The main thing is the skin. We're gonna get it like this. Mix it up a little bit. Take that ginger. Uh, I think that ginger is the real one, but the ginger is a different story. But as I said before, if you guys didn't hear me properly, ginger helps fight off this thing that we were fighting for the last year. Ginger, ginger, ginger. Even in work, I think last night we um, one of the one of the um, bakers he made like a ginger ginger um, blend, which I will make for a video here for you guys. Uh, and it's simple. And um, basically, you can use that for tea. You can use it to drink coal. You know, you use that ginger for anything. All right. Want our chicken fully seasoned. As I say, you can dip, re-dip your hand in that because we're going to use all that spice. All right. And then, you know, the soy sauce is going to add a lot of the color that we're going to get in the end. All right. So that you want to make sure this chicken you can see. Season. You understand? All right. So we're going to flip it back over. And we want to keep it in a certain formation so it doesn't leak over the um, pan when we um, put it in the oven. We're almost ready to put it in. We just had to get this last part in and then we do the wet side and that's it. Uh, so I would say the prep time, depending, might be 10 to 15, no, I would say 12 to 15 minutes depending on how much chicken. If there's more chicken than this, it will be take, take longer than this in terms of preparation and getting it together. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side for the skin. The skin is which is most important. All right, so we get that rubbed in there. That's okay if you make a little mess on the side, that's all right. Clean your kitchen, <laughs> that's what I would say. A lot of people don't like to do that, but hey, it comes in handy. Having a clean kitchen is essential to health, especially a clean bathroom too. We won't have to go there, but you know, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do that spice blend and we're gonna rub it in. Gonna rub that spice blend in. You know? Make it all kusume together. No, no, I really like that word. <laughs> Trinidad again. Um, French Creole um, word in terms of like, you know, blending together, you know? These spices come together. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay. Boom. Okay, now we're gonna get the wet part together. Um, you could put this in a bowl or you could drizzle it on top. I would probably just drizzle it, you know, because we don't wanna stick. So I'm gonna drizzle it on top and then I'm gonna rub it in. It's 
processing oil, basically it's for flavor. And then the dark soy sauce is for the color. So I'm gonna turn up my oven a little bit to five. And then get it like a few minutes. It's already hot because we started it at 350. So we know to do too, too much now. So we use that sesame oil to keep, keep that uh, spice rub on top secured, almost like a glue. We just rub it in, we don't want to rub off the spice rub, but we just want to rub it in so the sesame oil gets to do its wonder. You know, usually people would fry this in a frying pan, but as I said, we've been very health conscious in my home, so I chose to bake it. All right, okay. You see, chicken is almost ready. The last thing, obviously, is the soy sauce. So I would put this in a bowl, because the soy sauce is very dark, and you don't want to overuse it. So I'll put it in the same bowl, I have the spice on it. Mix it up and we'll get some more of the remaining of those spices. And then we just add it. So this is the best method in, in terms of we have added it instead of drowning anything in soy sauce because you know as obviously soy sauce has a lot of sodium and you don't want to over sodium the chicken. So alright. Now if you're doing any other chicken like stew chicken and stuff like that, I would recommend um seasoning it with green seasoning before the night before taking it out as i said that method has really proven to work really well taking out your chicken prior before let it come to room temperature and then listen down to business everything fix you know fixing your mix all right so get that well coated Side. I don't want to lose our position with the chicken. Alright. Now we'll spice her up together. And the way you know you're gonna have some good chicken, once it's tender, before it goes goes into the oven, you know that you're gonna have a good cook on the chicken, and you won't have to worry too much. You just have to watch and wait and stand by. You know, all right. Make sure that chicken is well seasoned to the core. All right. Boom. Okay. If anybody have any um, recipes they want to see or particular things they want me to cook, let me know. You could uh, come onto my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And yeah, man, we're on the journey. We're on this journey. We're on this journey. There's much more to come, much better to come. Much better things to come in the future. You know, you always have to claim it. Claim what you want. Claim what you want. Tell you the difference what you need. Alright. So, we're done with that. Take off our gloves. And there you have our Trini Chinese style chicken. So this is well seasoned. It's gonna go into the oven. And then um, yeah, we'll be back once this chicken is done. And we'll give you guys the final product. Alright? Thank you guys. Alright guys, we're about to take out our chicken. Our final product, and I'm ready to show you. Okay. Right. And this is our train style Chinese chicken. I'm gonna bring it close so you guys to see that the chicken is looking mighty, mighty fine. All right, we're gonna get a close up. And our final, final product. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna do our crispy test. To see if our chicken is very, very crispy, all right? See that?
18. cutting board and we're probably gonna do a wing over here okay oh yeah look at that you see that it's called season all right guys I ain't picking this up because this is very hot. No, sir. <laughs> but uh, I know my, let me tell you something. I think after a while when you cook for a long time, you know your food, you know your flavors, you know everything. Tai Tai, come try this. So my son is gonna be my taste tester. Another blow it for him. Because it's very hot. Take a bite, son. What do you think? Tell me. Good. Is it good? Uh huh. Wow. You see, guys, when you're cooking for your family, make sure the food tastes in. good. You understand? And this chicken, I love doing this style. I don't do it too often, but I try to do it every, you know, two weeks, you know. And um, yeah, and then we're gonna come back for a final product with our rice and peas and everything like that. So hope you guys have a good day. All right, enjoy. Hmm. Oh yeah. 